Babri Masjid and also the, uh, you know, the Mandal Commission report, all that was happening, what is Hinduism, what's not Hinduism. And I felt God, we have not changed at all. We have remained the same for the last 1000 years because these are the issues that Baswana handled. my sons. There is no danger of that. The danger is they will teach my children their language, English, a language in which it is possible to consider boys of seven and eight as hostages of war. Well, I directed one play of mine, only one, and that's Radical Member. And that is because I thought if I didn't direct it, no one will know what the form is. You know, there's an image and there's a real person and the real person talks to the image and everyone said, image? What image? Some other actress will come there. I said, no, 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 no. It has to be an image. So ultimately me and Chaitanya and we all sat together and, you know, shot the... We did it. <laughs> In 1969, Kaharnad wrote the screenplay of Samskara based on a novel by U. R. Anant Murthy, yet another prominent Kannada writer. Karnad even donned the lead role in the film. It was his first foray into the world of cinema. Vamsha Vruksha was his debut as a film director along with B.V. Karanth. Since then, he has directed some of the most memorable films in Canada, including Kadu, Vanda Nandu Kaladalli, Tabbal Yu Nina De Magane and Kanuru Hegatati. Working alongside filmmakers like Satyajit Ray, Sham Benigal and Govind Nihalani, Girish Karnan made his presence felt in the Hindi film industry as well. Ah, ah, he has directed films in Hindi like Utsav, Chelvi and Voghar. Most importantly, some of the most reputed talents in Indian cinema first entered films under Girish Karnad. The Kannada superstar Vishnu Vardhan made his debut in Girish Karnad's Vamshavruksha. You idiot! Karnad even introduced the immensely talented actor-director Shankar Nag in the film Vandanundu Kaladalli. Actors Amrish Puri, Om Puri, Shekhar Suman, Sonali Kulkarni, cinematographer Rajiv Menon, art director Sabu Siral, all first entered cinema under Karnad's wing. Girish Karnad has also played an important role in shaping the cultural policy of India. He has built and nurtured several institutions of repute including the Karnataka Natak Academy, the Sangeet Natak Academy, the Film and Television Institute of India, and the Nehru Centre in London. And his contributions have been recognised across India and the world. He has been conferred with reputed honours, like the Kalidas Samman, Gubbi Veeran Award for Lifetime Achievement in Kannada Theatre, Swarnakamal, Central Sahitya Academy Award, Padma Shri, and Padma Bhushan. Girish Karnad has been conferred with the most important literary honour in India, the Gnan Peet, for his contribution as playwright. Karnad's wife, Saraswati Ganapati, is a doctor and social activist. She works to empower women in rural Karnataka. Karnad has two children, Raghu Amai and Radha Shalmali. Close to the temple Someshwara is the source of the river Shalmali. This is it, Shalmala Nadi, she's called. 
And when my daughter was born, I said to my wife, why call her after Ganga, Yamuna, Narmada, Saraswati, rivers which are far away? We should call her after a river which is next door to us. And Saraswatpur, where I was brought up, is just next door here. And Someshwara is there. And in the poem, Sanna Swamara, which I quoted while we were in Someshwara, there are these lines of Bendris, which are very famous. Shanmali, Sanna Bali, Kivi Olaga, Tale Wali, Gari Gari, Banadaga, Adagi. Ganga Holiagi, Sagara Bittu, Sagara Kagi, Oratala Gokarna Kaligi, Burala Deepamali, Nandisi Sejjusali, Gattina Sappulilla Nadi. When my mother was expecting me, when she was two months pregnant, probably two or three months pregnant, she decided that she didn't want me. She didn't want to have another child. She already had three. So she persuaded my father to take her to a person, to, to a doctor, to have an abortion. Uh, uh, a doctor called Dr. Madhumalati Gune and I think I shall forever be grateful to the, this Dr. Madhumalati Gune because that day Dr. Madhumalati Gune didn't come to her clinic. So my mother waited half a day and then she got bored and they came home. Uh, and so my mother said, we had you, otherwise we would have got rid of you. And I was so shocked, the whole notion that there would be this world without me. I mean, you know, uh, all blank. I felt completely blank and my first reaction was to say, but, but then you have my younger sister, you had my, how can you have my younger sister if you wanted to get rid of me? And my mother said, oh, by that time I had lost interest you know, in the whole thing. So we had a younger sister. But I tell you that when that revelation came, for about five minutes, the whole notion that the world could exist and I could not be there, uh, just completely stunned me. And recently I told this story to my children and they were equally stunned. They said, what, the whole world would have been there and we wouldn't have been there. Uh, so. The point is that it was a traumatic experience when I think I can, I genuinely experienced the absurdity of life.